Okay guys, so we're going for the sixth video now. Um, I was expecting for actually more than six videos. I'm really happy they came only up to six. Still, it's a lot of videos to do. But here's from that last lesson, and then we continue how to finish it. Here's a little weird chord. Now, you're going to repeat this the same exactly, but try to listen and see where I'm going to change it on the last chord. So, I'll come with a close-up. We're going to play, just like we learned on the previous video, this D seventh shape chord. Now instead of going first fret, third fret on the second fret, um, on the second string, I just play there. Second string, first fret, second fret, third string. So uh, I'm not explaining it because it's just the ending difference. So I'll play it again, try to get where the change is happening. It's the same as the previous video. my index on the first fret of the third string and then the middle finger on the fourth string on the second fret and I stroll down thumb index middle on the fourth third and second string and right after I do that I just bend the string that I'm holding with my middle finger and let it snap off so that's a bend release and then I go with my ring finger and middle finger and I play on the fifth string third fret second fret I take an A minor shape and I strum the fifth the fourth and the third string to finish it up so here's the last previous video and this new extra piece at the end together So that's it. I can't believe I actually finished this. I'm really happy, very satisfied that I'm showing you a full song again. Uh, to no circumstances, this is my song. I have not written Besame Mucho, Mucho, so if anybody is seeing this video, please do not delete. It's just a guitar lesson. It is my own variation. And um, I wanted to finish this video with a little bit of entertaining. I'm sure if you like uh, music and guitar like I do, let me see, we still have time, we're still up to four minutes. Uh, uh, I have a very wide collection of instruments and I wanted to show you this one. This is called Ektare, it's from Nepal. Uh, it's a beautiful instrument, it's very easy to play, unless of course if you see a maestro play it. All the instruments that I play, I do, I do the ones I own, I do play them, but uh, I'm not a professional at any of them. But because of my dancing, I like to have different cultures in my music, in my dance, and most of the things that I dance, I write and play my own music, like Aqua Salsa or Diablo Rojo, my new show. And this is really fun. It's, it's like a tumberlek on the bottom. It has a tuning peg and it has a string. I don't know if you can see it. 
right down the center and you can play a variation on the bottom or play the string and notice that every time you squeeze this these are two rods so it's like made out of bamboo or a regular rod and when you press them the tension of the string relaxes and it produces different pitch just like the tuning pegs on the guitar and you just pick this and it makes this cool sound so I wanted to share this with you I'm gonna continue showing more and more instruments because I know you're gonna get excited every time I finish a lesson I'm gonna show you one of my instruments I play the maracas, the conga, the bongos, uh, the giro, the afrorumba clave which I teach afrorumba in my classes and there's another little instrument that I like. This is called the jaw harp. It's uh, basically metal body, stainless steel. This I bought it from Lark in the Morning. It's larkinthemorning.com. It has a beautiful variety of instruments. And uh, there's many cultures that use this. They use it from bamboo material as well. It, you use your mouth to resonate as the guitar has a box and it resonates the strings. You actually place it on your teeth and it has this weird little sound now you know how they make these Tom and Jerry cartoons when something falls and bounces off a little bit so this is a Joe Harp uh, I'm sure I'm gonna see you guys now searching YouTube to see a little bit more see some professionals play it with the three leaves uh, Joe Harp, they really, really play nice stuff. And they also has nice tutorials on how to play these instruments. That's it. I thought I finished my lesson a little bit different. Uh, you can visit my websites. Uh, my new website, it's x-pressions.com. Make sure you comment and rate. Come and join me uh, on Facebook. We have a beautiful guitar group there. And guys, I really love it when you post video responses of the things you're learning from me. And I, I've seen every single one of your videos that you guys have posted out there. You know who you are. Thank you very much for posting. It just feels so beautiful uh, seeing you guys, all the people that I'm teaching and seeing you live and to really realize that I do make a difference uh, in this world and uh, by showing this guitar lessons. All right. So uh, if you learn this piece, even if it's not perfected, just post the video response to any of these videos. I would love to see you play and if you feel that YouTube is not the place for you to post a video join me on Facebook you will not believe the um, reaction that people have and the support they're giving you because everybody knows more personal level each other on Facebook uh, we have photos we have videos of each other and uh, it's not like YouTube where there's a lot of people that could say bad things or judge you harshly if you join on Facebook you can just add all these things and with the final quote the previous lessons if I've said something and over explained something again my bad but these lessons are also meant for beginner guitar players thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed your lessons if you have any questions just email me take care God bless see you on my next video